Well, I've been through the emotional ringer, you know, I've, I've had loss in my life and my family and, and I've also had a um, illness that, um, that uh, changed my uh, body chemistry, you know, and uh, I was uh, to a point of um, suicide at one point, uh, all through uh, lack of, of misdiagnosed disease. And um, once I became aware of it, I, I, uh, I was, it was diagnosed, I was able to like, accept you know, that, that this, I've, got the, I've got this virus that um, you know, comes and goes and um, symptoms of it is, uh, one of the symptoms is uh, depression and um, you know, uh, I was given medication to deal with it without knowing what the diagnosis was and that made it worse, it made it a whole lot worse and, uh, and um, you know, I, was, I was really glad to get through that point in my life because it was, uh, it was a really a big learning curve for me and what I personally tell people now is if you've got if you've got problems, it's, it's got to talk about it, you know. Um, I, I talk to my friends, my non-Indigenous mates and Indigenous mates, and sometimes I just uh, I, I, uh, rattle on a bit and just talk, and, and hopefully something will come out of them. And uh, sometimes you just, just keep your lip zipped and uh, something might come out of them. Just talking about it made me feel better. And what, what got you to counselling, though, then? Oh, that, that was my wife again. <laughs> yeah, I was... Uh, you know, I wasn't um, wasn't talking at home. I wasn't talking to anybody. So, you now uh, you have to make the decision. All those sorts of decisions have to be made by yourself in the end. But um, you know, it's it's pretty hard. It was very hard to go and, and talk to someone at the beginning. But um, after the first couple of times, and um, then finding someone who would listen, um, it was just a the way that I dealt with things was just talking about, and I just talked about them, and um, it's, it's it's a bit raw and honest, but. Mm. Um, once it's out, you know, you, you do feel better.